This video will show you how to access your remote desktop when you're not in the school building. All you'll need is a computer with a live internet feed, and you can type in connections.schenectady.k12.ny.us slash portal. And what that will do is bring you to a screen that looks like this with the VMware horizon. You'll want to select the HTML, the web access, and it will ask you at that point to simply sign into the software. Just as if I was at school, I'll type in Jocular A and then my password, which is probably the same as everybody's, dot, 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 dot. And make sure that you're logging into this Connectedy server. You click on Log In. It'll bring you to a screen that looks like this. Just find the SCSD over in the corner. And that will send you into the computer. It's almost as if you were sitting at school on one of the PCs and it was starting up. It might take a few moments for it to load, but once it has, you'll be on your desktop as though you were at school. And I want you to notice that there is a toolbar here sitting on top of my current computer's toolbar. So what I'm actually looking at is an image of my screen from school. I'll be able to, oh, there goes my Skype. I'll be able to do anything that I would normally do at the school with a couple little exceptions. So I can open up my documents, I can find all my files, I can go through my things. I can use Outlook that way if I want to use the Outlook mail. The big thing to remember when you're in this software is that you are not actually at the computer screen that you are working on. So for instance, I can't open something in my files and then try to drag it off onto my computer because I'm on a remote server at that point, so I won't be able to actually move things like that. The other big thing is if I have a document up and I'm trying to print, it's going to be printing as though I was at a school computer, not to my home account. So if you really want to print something at home, you're going to want to email that to yourself. And you can do that right from this remote desktop, but you want to send that to yourself so that you have it. When you're finished working on this, you simply come over to this tab on the side and open it up and you'll see SCSD is running. You'll open the menu and log off. And that's as simple as it is to get to your remote desktop.